for watching. I'm Prerna Agarwal. Today, I'll be giving you a quick demo on how to create the web 3 storage API key. So the first step, what you need to do is you need to go to web 3 storage slash login. And the first step is to create an account. Either you create an account through GitHub or you create an account through your email ID. And if you already have created an account in web 3 storage, you need to log into web 3 storage. Now, once you log in, you need to go over on the account tab. Once you're over on the account tab, you get a create an API token option. If you have already created the API tokens, you see all the tokens being created, or you can create a new token by entering a specific token name, which I would say demo. And when I click on create button, my API token gets created. Now I just copy this token by clicking on this copy icon. And then I go to the Visual Studio code where I have IPFS hyphen client folder in that I have a dot env dot docker. And I copy paste my token over here in the IPFS underscore storage underscore API underscore key. If you are using Docker, you need to update here in the dot docker file. If you are using, if you are building Docker or if you are building a Guardian from scratch, you need to update in the .env file in the, at the same place where it says IPFS underscore storage underscore key. And you need to copy and paste that token over here. We have also added a quick step-by-step -step process in our documentation, which is at docs.hedera.com slash guardian slash how to generate web3.storage API key. Or you also have an option to get a quick info on clicking web3.storage slash doc slash quick start, which actually they give us a quick or a step-by-step -step process of how to generate the API token, which we already discussed, and also how to create the storage account. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at envision.com. Thank you. Have a great day.